Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. Uh, I've just gone through and I've just uh, equipped our brand new squad uh, with pretty much the same setup as we had before. There is slightly different skills going on with the different people. Uh, so there's there's different things that we could do if we wanted, but I, I want to keep it mostly consistent with what we had previously. Uh, right, so in terms of uh, what we've actually got potentially for training, uh, the only real noticeable difference um, is our engineer actually has PDW proficiency. We could learn that now, uh, and I think in the long term it might be an idea to... In fact, ye... oh my god, choices, choices. So if we learn this now, then giving him the grenade launcher is pointless. We'll have to swap him back to the PDW. It would completely change his role. Um, I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that. So you're actually going to go back to the PDW that you had before, which means we're going to need that PDW magazine. Right, now is there a Phoenix version of the PDW? Mm -hmm. Flamethrower. We might have to try that at some point. Not that I can see immediately, obviously. That's fine. Uh, so, I do want to take the grenade launcher out. Uh, you've already got the hell cannon. I suppose we could, we could give it to our second assault instead of the assault rifle. Might not be the smartest move, but at the same time, it is a grenade launcher. So what are you going to do? Plenty of encumbrance there. Uh, I don't think we'll need to give you the pistol, therefore. And we almost certainly don't need to give you regular grenades. Actually, we will keep the pistol. Uh, let's... We can swap back to that if we need to. It'll only take a little bit of inventory. Uh, that means we've actually got the ability to shoot something if it comes along right in our face. I think that that's going to be fine. Uh, for training, Eli in there... Return fire. <laughs> now, th these are all things that will come later. Okay, so we are ready once again to start exploring. Uh, I am once again going to do a radar station because I think uh, it's important that I keep it consistent with how I did previously. Ooh, let's put the speed back up to normal. Ooh, okay, uh, except we're going to do the Haven Assault first. Uh, so, it's an independent haven. They're under assault by crabmen. Uh, let's hop in and let's see if we can save them. This may go horribly, horribly wrong. I mean, crabmen can be pretty nasty. If they've, if they've all got grenade launchers, we are boned. Protect all key structures. Ah, oh, geez, there goes my explosive plan. Oh, I see. Yeah, we can, we can make this work. We can totally make this work. So, kill all enemies. That's definitely something that I can do. Where is this guy? He is pretty much out in the open. How's your PDW accuracy? It's, it's a bit better than it would have been. It's not brilliant, though. Uh, if we get to here, we'll get one shot through that. Where's the second guy? Oh, he's miles away. So they have pincers and shields. Perfect. We can we can actually manage this. So shoot him in the leg, shoot him in the arm, shoot him in the arm, I think. If we get rid of that pincer. A little bit of damage. That's all right. If we get rid of the pincer, then he won't be a threat anymore. I need you much further forwards so you can actually be useful. Third crabman spotted. Whereabouts? So, number one, number two, right? there we go, at the back. And number three on the roof over there. So, actually, from here, we might be able to take... shot at the guy who's sort of in the open. I think let, let's go centre mass with this one. 
disabled his torso. He's bleeding out. Couldn't really have asked for a better option than that. Uh, we can jump jet with this guy. Get him right into the action. Uh, it's likely that he'll end up getting attacked, but he'll be in a good position to get those missiles off. Let's put, let's put him right up here, actually. He fumbled the jump jet. He's not trained in it. That's fine. Pulled the stop cord rather than the uh, the go cord. Oh, that is not much of a shot. Right, we're going to need to move you. Definitely going to need to move you. Let's get you to here and we'll just have another look at that. So that fumbling thing is probably quite a significant chance now that it's happened a couple of times to us. You know what, if we just go center mass, we'll probably kill him. Or miss him. That's also an option. So, only our heavy left. Alright, let's see what they do. So, unsurprisingly, he's hopping down and he's attacking this. I wonder if that counts against our percentage. It's got enough action points to take several swings at it. And then his shield goes down. He is bleeding out, but it's going to take him three turns. So if we can do six damage per turn, then we're in a bit of trouble. Ooh. Something else is being attacked somewhere. That one over there. Oh, we can hear sound. Look at that sound indicator. Right, well, well, we'll protect what we can, as much as we can. I have to say, in terms of, like, havens and haven arrangements, they really need to start polishing some of this stuff. I'm surprised that thing's even working with the amount of corrosion it's got on it. Oh, jeez, there's a lot of these guys, isn't there? When they when they said they were under assault, they were really under assault. And one thing I think that would uh, probably increase the immersion of this would be if structures were already partly damaged. Because we've turned up in the middle of a battle, it's not like we would have turned up perfectly at the start. Is that a good thing for us? Probably not. Or would it be a good thing for us? Probably not. But it'd probably make it feel a bit more... Like we're actually coming in trying to save something. Over there, that, that area is completely screwed. Unless we can get some kind of explosive over there next turn. Which I very much doubt. Okay. So... Explosive on this one is a possible. But without, like, destroying the thing we're trying to protect, that's going to be tricky. If we move a bit closer, then we might manage it. But those, those lines are not good. Maybe here... not really going to do what I want. That is just a bit too close. Oh, we can't even get the... Oh, we can get the one on the roof. Okay, let's, let's do this. Dunk. So, he's still got four health, but he doesn't actually have a way of attacking. So that's okay. Uh, in terms of you, Captain PDU, uh, if we bring you across, you can probably get eyes on this guy. If we 
go here, might even get two shots, so try that. Might just hit it, but uh, hopefully not. Okay, that went as well as I could have hoped. No, we ended up shooting the thing we're supposed to be trying to protect. Not good. Let's try sniping just through the gap. If we go for the arm, we might get lucky. Well, we hit the bad guy, which is good. I don't know if we were really as effective as we wanted to be. Do we want to jump jet again, or do we want to just move and go for it? I think let's move in. After the first fumbling. Yeah, let's, let's try and keep the shots on this guy. He's only got two health left. We don't need to do much. That's one damage. I need to do a little bit more than that. Although, is he bleeding? He's not bleeding. Suffice to say, I am not feeling impressed with our team's performance at the moment. Hell Cannon, you are not in a position to do anything worthwhile. Let's just move you up this way. So it comes down to the last sniper to figure out whether we can actually get this guy gone. That's going to be like right in between them if we take that shot. That is too dangerous. This could work. I mean, it would be quite the hopeful shot. No. Well, we have failed. Oh, no. I oh, know we have failed to defend it. It is gone. And he's coming forward to face his fate. We'll shoot him with a pistol, probably. That's all the destruction going off over on the right-hand side, I suspect. Oh, no. No, that's more stuff in him uh, up the top. I mean, I feel like our bunch of rookies is not doing particularly well at, uh, at defending this haven at the moment. We've lost one of the vital structures. We're about to lose a second. Third is almost certainly going to go before we get to it. There we go. Two gone on the second turn. Jeez. Oh, great. And now there's uh, two crabmen over at this one. This one is definitely going to go before we reach it. And they're, they're getting three swings each on these things. It's going to be really difficult to successfully defend. I guess you have to rush for a particular area and then try and defend what you can. Uh, he's going to bleed out next turn, so we don't really need to worry about him. And also, he's got no arm. No. And this guy will bleed out, but probably not before... We need to kill him. 
Jeez, so many attacks. Absolutely gorgeous game, though. I'm loving what they've done uh, with the graphics. All right, team. How the hell are we... Let's heading someone over this way? That might work. Why head someone when you can just head a missile? Incoming! This is a vital structure. This bit, not so much. It did nothing. Oh, that that is a frustrating development. Okay, well, we'll charge forward so we're in a better position to do another one next turn. Uh, you two... Hell, we can we can just do this with the PDW. Right, so go for the arm. We only need to hit once just to finish him off. Uh, he's going to bleed out, so he's not a problem. Who else do we have? We've got you just over there, but we can't really see you. And we've got this guy sort of behind everything. You know what, I think we'll actually move the PDW down this way. So, grenades will bring up to help over here, I think. Uh, in fact, let's do, let's do the Hell Cannon first. Hell Cannon at the moment can only see him. Get you to here. One option, two options, three options. That is a no. That is a bit more of a maybe. But that thing is definitely going to be in the way. So many of them over there. Alright, pistol is actually going to be easier. Really hope we don't shoot the thing behind it. Okay, that's solved part of the problem for the Hell Cannon, but we don't have enough action points for the Hell Cannon anymore. We are doing great at removing cover. And he fumbled it for the last one. That's okay. He tried. He really did. Uh, let's charge on in. Because we need that explosive in a much easier place to work with. Right, I need you much further forwards so we can actually do something worthwhile with your sniping skills. Uh, let's bring you one further across this way. And likewise... Sniper down this side. I think we'll actually just charge you round here. Oh, we are not doing well as a team. All these old rusted consoles. I mean, they're, they're like something out of Fallout. I really like the design of them, but I would not be happy using that. I would want to clean it right up. That's it. Come closer, everyone. Preferably closer to each other so we can, like, get some explosions going. Mm. At this rate, we're only going to defend one of them. Mm. 
Not dangerous um, crab men that we're going up against this time for us, but certainly they've got enough tools to get the job done. That's what we want. We want them coming a bit closer. This is gone. Two more swings. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. So, what are we going to do about all of this? These two up here, we could get a grenade on both of them. That would be quite effective. Dunk! There we go. So, no arms left. He is not a threat at all. Uh, with our pistol, we could also take a shot at this guy, try for the arm. No, a bit hopeful, but always worth trying these things. With our PDW, we can step out here and try and shoot this guy in the arm, but his shield is right in front of us. Um, also, this guy's probably more of a challenging threat for us. There's no windows through there, is there? No. Okay, let's... Step in. We'll go for this guy. If we go there, we might shoot him in the leg. We might shoot him in the shield arm. Disabled his leg. He's bleeding. He's only got one health left. He is not a problem anymore. I like it. So that means we could get in a better position to shoot this guy. Oh jeez, we've also got him over here. Ah, so many of them. Right, who else do we have? Sniper through the middle. Go for the arm, try and take out the shield. Might get the leg behind as well. Yeah, give it a go. We hit him, probably in the carapace, with all that damage that we did. Uh, we can move a bit closer, actually, now. Uh, sniper down the side. I think we want to keep moving you into position to try and get a shot around there. Let's, let's just bring you in here, actually. Hell Cannon Pistol. This guy is quite a bit of a threat. You're not a problem. You are a problem. Can I... Not effectively. That is not a shot I would like to take. How about you? That is not a great shot either. If we move across a little bit, we won't be able to see him at all. And if we move... Yeah. That is just terrible. Perhaps back one. That's better. It might go clean through the shield. No, over, over the top. Worth a try, I think. But uh, just not brilliant. And you're the last one. So he's going to move in and take a swing. No matter what we do. That is just not the right position for getting a shot on him. And he's a bit too close for me to want to come to here. But we'll give it a go. 
Right, so we're trying to take out the arm. Not enough. Yeah, here comes the swing. Ow. Is he going to get two? Yeah. All right. So we're going to need to back out of there and get some healing. Jeez. Yeah, we're definitely going to need some healing. Uh, you can actually get a missile over the top on all three of these. Do you have a missile left? You do. Lovely. So where am I going to run you to that you can get some medical aid. Probably here. These guys can take out the rest. So we'll get you out. Medic! Plus eight health stops the bleeding much, much better. Not enough action points to do anything else, but uh, that's all right. The important thing is we've made it work. This is not the right angle for shooting over there. I think you're going to have to swing around this side. And going in with the... Explosion. That'll work. Give it a go. Fury missile launcher. We'll call that a triple kill. I mean, this guy is so dead. So in terms of crab men left, we've got one guy, we've got one guy who's about to bleed out, and we've got this guy who's about to bleed out. So I'm sorry, you're going to get a grenade right on your face, mate. And I'm going to take great pleasure in gradually picking them down. Yeah, so the Goliath does have two more ammo bits that you just can't see. Uh, it's just gradually working its way down. Uh, yes, yeah, shh. Go centre mass. Try not to fumble it this time. Very nice. Uh, yeah, you can't do anything further. You can. I suppose we, we could snipe this guy for good measure. That'll do. Oh, I hit the cover. Unfortunate, but uh, not entirely unexpected. Does open it up a bit for the pistol, though. Which also missed. Well, we've still got more we can do. Pistol. This is more likely to fumble. But never mind, we will try... Oh my word, that was so wide. Okay, let's let's let them bleed out. He's gone. And his friend is also gone. And we have our first successful mission. So, 200 experience points for killing all the enemies. 57 for protecting 38% of the structures. That is terrible. And 100 for just generally going out. Uh, so we've got four skill points added to the skill point pool. We've had two level ups. Okay. Now I wonder, that 357. 100, 200, 320, 30, 40. Yeah, it's just been allocated between these guys. So why did Molly and Elliot get nothing? Interesting.
Not that it matters. I suppose it gets it ends up getting split between those who have kills. That'll probably change in the long run. Um, but uh, suffice to say, we've done reasonably well. And we have two level ups, so we can have a look at the level up system. You have successfully helped defeat all hostile forces. The leader of the Haven is grateful to your help. And more importantly, we didn't have to reload, so we haven't wasted anything with that. Okay. Ooh, a new soldier is available. So it's a new engineer, and he's going to cost us next to nothing. That must be a gratitude thing. Felix Kjellberg. Well, we'll definitely have an extra engineer. Did it actually give him to us? Well, there's the nest that it came from. I'm going to build that uh, that radar station. Um, mm, yeah, I wonder. It looks like Felix didn't actually end up with us. That's okay. I, I'm sure that will get resolved at some point. All right, before we do anything further, very quick on the quick save. Uh, let's go into the squad roster and we'll have a look at the experience that we got. Uh, right, so in terms of equipment, we didn't open any crates. So I don't think we would get anything from within them as it was a haven defense mission. Uh, right, Chelsea is one of those. Ooh, okay, so the soldiers themselves get skill points, and then we've got the Phoenix skill points as a whole that we can use. That's cool. Uh, so you're definitely getting exertion. It's just too good to not. Uh, we'll give you assault rifle proficiency because that is awesome as well, and we may as well give you expert shooter because we're still not even eating into your things. So plus 20% accuracy plus an additional 10% accuracy, and then the whole exertion ability. Chelsea is becoming very, very awesome. Also, Chelsea's going to be able to run, 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 and then do the Fury missile launcher. So, yes please. All of the yes please. Uh, do we want to increase your speed then? I think we probably do. Grenade spam. Wow. 50% greater distance for no action points until the next turn. I mean, that would require loading up with grenades, but that's still very cool. Uh, yeah, let's, let's give you an additional speed. So good job, Chelsea. You are rocking. And the other one we had was Michael Beck. Uh, so exertion as well. Expert shooter, good choice. Even though we've only got the um, the grenade launcher on you, you do have another thing. Uh, and an additional 25% to perception. I'm not sure what that actually does in terms of like measurable mechanics. Um, it could be spotting distance, it could be the hearing range. Uh, we're also gonna give you a little bit of extra speed and I think that's probably it. We could give you some more willpower, but I don't think that's gonna be very useful. Maybe the general experience goes towards the Phoenix skill points rather than the individual soldier ones. Regardless, it's been pretty good. Uh, right, now one thing I wanted to cover very quickly that we haven't covered up until now is if you select one of these, then you do have the option to recycle them or potentially manufacture new ones. Uh, it does tell you the cost of them. So if we decided we wanted even more of those massive massive pistols we could actually just produce a whole bunch of them and the various magazines for them so it's it's not a problem of running out of ammo or running out of weapons as long as you have one you can make more but in terms of actually re-gearing i think it's not necessarily a good thing having everyone with a sidearm it was a nice idea at the start but uh what with uh, everyone's specific proficiencies. If I just go back in to remind you, proficient with heavy weapons and mounted weapons over here, proficient with sniper rifles and handguns, proficient with assault rifles, shotguns and grenades, 
sniper rifles and handguns, assault rifles, shotguns and grenades, and of course PDWs, robotic arms and turret deployment. Until you get to the secondary class to train into, I don't think that it's possible to, well, I suppose proficient in various silenced weapons. Interesting. That is interesting. Um, so you can get the proficiencies down here, um, but uh, they're obviously not going to be as useful as just directly training into the skills. And unless you find one that specifically gives you pistols rather than just uh, expert light weapons, doesn't really count, uh, then you're always going to have that chance to fumble. Um, we've got plenty of things that we're going to explore in the future. Um, but I think that's it for this episode. We have run out of time. So thank you very much for coming along. We made it through without uh, the game crashing this time, which was great. And uh, of course, we're going to follow this squad through and see what the world has to offer. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so and you'll be told when the next video comes out. As a reminder, there's going to be two per week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So be sure to tune in then. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Phoenix Points. See you soon.